Hello everybody, today we're going to be checking out a group that people have been recommending to me for quite a while, which is uh, Killing Joke. Um, this is the fourth track off the album What's This For, uh, which was released in 1981, and it's called simply Butcher. Um, thank you to the person who requested this underneath my recent video asking for requests, and to everyone who seconded their, uh, their request by liking it or commenting beneath it. Um, and uh, yeah, the song's like six minutes long, and just from the everything about the name of the, from the name of the song to the name of the band to the people who described the group to me, I think this is probably going to be something that I like. I'm excited to check it out. Um, yeah, I've never listened to, I've never even heard of the group Killing Joke before, except for from your comments. So, thank you for introducing me to a new group. Let's. Get into it. Three, two, if you're new to the channel, my name is Daniel, and here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally, and we do research on the artists, and yeah, that's all you need to know. Here we go. Hope you're having a great day. I like the vocal distortion. It's creepy. Sorry, that'll be the only time I pause it. Um, I like it so far, but I did not know that uh, it was gonna. That it, normally, if I do a group like this, I'll like put a, I'll say at the beginning, you know, this is outside of what I generally react to on the channel. So if you don't want to hear something that sounds kind of like experimental or like super distorted or whatever, just move on to the next video. Um, but uh, I like it so far. Um, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of. I don't know, Nine Inch Nails? Obviously this was before Nine Inch Nails, but that's what's making me think of immediately. Or like ministry, like industrial type of music, I guess. Um, I can't wait to read what the lyrics are to this. Uh, and I like the general f the feel of it. Like that opening set the tone for it. Um, you know, the whole thing's just kind of ominous. Sounds pretty angry too, which is fun. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Are the drums like slightly off beat or am I crazy? I love this guitar section here.
brutal. Hey, the drums? <laughs> that was cool. I love that this came out in the really early 80s. Uh, this feels a, a touch ahead of its time. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> that was fun. Um, this is from their second album, too. All right. Uh, let's see. Walker is easily one of the best players ever. The things he did were normally super different and the tone he managed from his equipment was one of a kind check out pleasures of the flesh fun and games inside the termite mound and we have joy those songs are in my mind the epitome of walker's sonic and harmonic brilliance hmm let's see these guys were so far ahead of their time this is still challenging in 2011 yeah all right well now it's uh 2022 drums bass synth guitar synth vocals damn what a sound Best album, a disturbing masterpiece. One of their greatest songs, brilliant album. A few people saying um, that Killing Joke's the greatest uh, band in the world. Then we have Nine Inch Nails can camp out in every mass murderer's house for an eternity. But they will never write anything as truly intense as this masterpiece. Um... I never get why people feel the need to make like comparisons to things with all these negative connotations with them. I mean, this sounds like something that might have uh, inspired Nine Inch Nails' sound, which is a good thing, you know? Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I love the Downward Spiral, though, so I might be a little bit biased. I actually like most of Nine Inch Nails' discography, which is why I haven't really reacted to them on the channel, is because I really can't. Um, like, Pretty Hate Machine... I think With Teeth is the name of another one, uh, and The Downward Spiral. I don't think I've heard The Fragile, which I've been meaning to check out for a while. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's continue. So this came out, like I said, in 1981. Let's see the lyrics. Watching the decoys of all descriptions, sparkle of color creating diversion. The liars are out. They have all the assets. Mining for oil, they were bleeding for gold. The fruits tasting bitter, the lead, the lead, not lead, the lead in the air. Butcher the womb and expect her to bear. Forests are falling, there's smoke in my throat. Machine over manned and the mass over mind. Reassurance from face on my screen. Wow. Appointment with destiny for those who will run. Out of the virus, immunity comes. Bless this immunity. Out of the virus, immunity comes. At least you'll be awake. This is a terrifying song. So a few different things I'm getting out of this is like, um, it seems like it's against war, like the machine of war. Seems like it's against, you know, the raping of the earth and, you know, the natural order and the natural world. Um, the fruit's bitter. There's lead in the air. We're butchering the womb. This is making me think again of like, you know, Mother Earth uh, and expecting her to bear. The forests are falling, smoke in my throat, you know, pollution, machine over man, mass over mind instead of mind over matter. So a, a emphasis on this like brute force mentality as opposed to spiritual or just emotional and mental. Uh, yeah, wow. Reassurance from face. Oh, we're reassured from a face on a from a talking head on a screen. <laughs> this came out in the early '80s. Wow, appointment with destiny for those who will run. Out of the virus, immunity comes, and they're decoys, you know, which is interesting because there's a lot of decoys in the uh, the news currently. Like if you look at, uh, obviously that's, yeah. That's not too far, I don't think. I try to generally not talk too much about that type of stuff on this channel. But on pretty much every news site, you know, um, there's a whole lot of what seems to be diversion. And not just on news sites, 
but also in just like the media in general and what's the algorithms recommend on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and every social media platform and you know celebrity drama ends up being more talked about than um, actually like important issues or things going on in the world and uh, yeah the decoys and diversions <laughs> all right wow I enjoyed this track a lot uh, it sounded very experiment. It sounds like the type of thing that inspires some of the stuff that I make myself. Um, so I love that. Uh, yeah. Again, thank you to the people who requested this. Let me know if there's any other killing uh, joke songs you'd like me to check out. I really like the album cover for this one with like the heads coming out of the windows that look like ghouls or something. Um, and like just the general aesthetic of the whole picture. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for lots more videos because, yeah, <laughs> there's going to be lots more videos. All right, I'll see you soon. Deathstroke 9, out.